Hi, and welcome to this section of the tutor where we're going to continue working with fractions. This time, we're going to talk about how to multiply fractions. Um, just don't forget, fractions are just another number like anything else. They look a little bit funny because you have that bar there and the number on the top and the number on the bottom, but they're just a number. And um, specifically, a fraction is a number um, that's pretty much going to be less than one. Okay, so anytime you have something less than one, you're going to be dealing with the fractions. And because it's it's just a number, you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide them. And we've already tackled the adding and subtracting, and now we're going to talk about multiplication. Okay? Um, the way to do that, the best way, is to go ahead and just talk about an example. Okay? What if you had, here's a fraction. Of course, in this case, I'm just making a special case. So what I have is a pie here, and I have the entire pie. Okay? So this is just one pie. This is the number one, right? Okay, it's not really a fraction, it's just a number, one whole pie, okay? And let's say I'm going to multiply it by another fraction, and I'm just drawing the fractions for you here on the board so you can visualize it, and this is half of a pie. So this fraction is one half, and I'm going to put a little dot here, and this dot means multiplication. That's, that's a, you can use a dot or you can use an X, whatever, it's the same thing. It just means I'm multiplying these two things together, okay? One thing I want you to understand is that a fraction is kind of like a hatchet or an axe, okay? And what does that mean? A hatchet is something that you go up to a tree and you chop it, and the tree, you know, you can chop it down, right? You, you can chop something down. A fraction is kind of like that. When you multiply a fraction times a number, this fraction is going to end up chopping the first number down, okay? And you'll see what I'm talking about here as we go forward. Here I have one pie, and I'm multiplying by one half of a pie. So what this is really means is I start with one pie, and I'm only going to take half of it away. I'm multiplying by a half, so in the end, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take one half of this first pie, and that is going to give me the answer. Okay? As we work through some more problems, you'll understand what I'm talking about here, but the first number is just what you're, you're starting with, and the fraction that you multiply by is basically telling you what how much of this first pie am I going to be left over with, okay? So here I'm multiplying by half. So in the end, all I want is half of this first pie. So if I start with a pie, and, I, and, and this is telling me I just want to end up with half of, half of what I started with, then the final answer is just going to be one half. Okay, here's a pie, here's one half. Okay, so the answer is one half, okay? Because I start with one pie, and I multiply by a half, and that means that in the end, all I'm trying to do is take one half of what I started with. One half of what I started with here is just one half, okay? So that's how you do it in terms of pictures. Now, how do you do this in terms of math, okay? Um, you start out with one, okay, and you're multiplying by one half, okay? Well, in order to multiply fractions, you have to write everything in terms of a fraction. What would one be written as? in terms of a fraction. It would be 1 over 1. Because don't forget, anything divided by itself is just 1. So 1 over 1 is exactly the same thing as 1. Okay? And I'm going to multiply by 1 over 2. This dot just means multiply. The good news is, multiplying fractions is really easy. It's actually easier than adding them, okay, in my opinion. It's actually easier than adding them. And let me show you how. Anytime you have a fraction, multiply by another fraction. No matter if the bottom number is the same or not, all you have to do is you multiply the top two numbers together. So let's do it. One times one gives us one, and then you draw your bar, and then on the bottom you just multiply the bottom two numbers. One times two gives you two. 